mass timber is viewed as higher risk. And so maybe if you could clarify higher risk than what, and specifically kind of in the context of the different kind of tools in the, in the toolbox that we have now to build projects with the structural materials from a non-combustible steel concrete masonry to a light wood frame building, how is mass timber viewed in that context? And, and then again, why is it viewed as higher risk? You know, from our perspective, as I mentioned, we do decouple the the, the thought process from a lightwood frame, a two by two or a two by four to a pre-engineered wood wood product. It's different, but it's still combustible. However, the combustibility qualities um, uh, uh, do do vary considerably. The concern is that from we don't want to also turn people off to um, to thinking that it's not combustible or that it's you know it's wood, it's still combustible. But right. the key piece is it's it it has a it, you know it has a different combustibility quality compared to lightwood frame. And I don't think the insurance market is viewing it correctly. Mm. You know, we see these placements come through with traditional lightwood frame markets and. I really challenge that, um, you know, at the moment, relatively speaking, that's the easy way to place it. Those are the markets that are going to take it, but they, they write it like a light wood frame project. Um, in actuality, you need to be understanding that there are differences um, and that, um, you know, it should be from a pricing perspective, um, you know, cheaper than a two by two or two by four, but, but, but it's all relative. So at, at its core, it is a wood product. So thereby combustible. However, I think it's important to understand the differences between light wood frame and, and mass timber and, and that, you know, there, um, there are different qualities inherent to a pre-engineered wood product pro product, as well as the intentionality that goes into these projects that, do decouple it from light wood frame. Testings continue to, to exhibit that. And so I think that that kind of rationale and, and understanding and willingness to, to look into that piece of, of, of pieces of information, I think are critical. Um, the other component too, though, is from a concerning perspective is, yes, we've seen testing continue to support the, uh, 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 the strength of a, of a facility that uh, suffers a fire, but you also have the repairability concern, you know, what happens after a fire or, or water damage perspective. So that often plays into, to, uh, for good reason, again, underwriters concern and considerations when going into these projects. Uh, but again, we, we do feel that the exposure is different from a lightwood frame perspective and, and in many ways uh, improvements from that standpoint. However, uh, not enough to call it anything other than what we call it, and that would be a mass timber facility, uh, not anything uh, associated with non-combustible type of construction.